I really don't do many third-party app reviews or tutorials. Most of Apple stock apps do nearly everything I need, but if I come across an app that I think might help you in some way, I don't mind introducing you to the product, sharing my thoughts, and letting you decide if it's a fit for you. Today, we take a look at an app called Activity Tracker. Hi, my name is Rich. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. This channel is dedicated to helping seniors and beginners by providing easy to follow videos on how to get the most out of your iPhone and iPad without going crazy. If that sounds like something that might interest you, please consider subscribing. We're building a great community. Okay, I do a lot of walking. In fact, I walk thousands of miles each year. And I typically use my Apple Watch and Apple Fitness app to track my step. But recently the developer of the app Activity Tracker reached out to me and asked if I'd consider doing a review. This app has a free version and a paid version and the developer provided a download of the paid version at no cost to me. You can get it on the App Store. However, this review is my own. I've not coordinated with the developer regarding the content of this video, nor has the developer reviewed or seen this video prior to its release. In short, I'm sharing with you my honest opinion. All right, let's take a look at this app. Okay, the first thing you need to know is that you do not have to have an Apple Watch in order to use this app. Your iPhone will count your steps. You can just keep your iPhone in your pocket and you're good to go. If you do have an Apple Watch though, you can connect your Apple Watch to the app and then it'll count the steps that your Apple Watch counts. So just keep that in mind as we review this app. All right, let's just open it up and take a look. So this is what you're greeted with. This is sort of what I call the home screen. And what I like about this is that it automatically just shows you your steps right there. Uh, some of the other apps out there, you kind of got to dig around or scroll to find your steps. This just presents them front and center. It also gives you your calories, the minutes you've walked, the miles you've walked, and the floors you've climbed on any particular day. And you can scroll through the various days. That was yesterday, that was the day before, and so forth. And it'll tell you, you know, keep track of all of the steps that you've had for that day. And I like how this is laid out. It gives you seven days across the bottom, starting on Sunday. And the green circle represents the progress you've made for that day in meeting your goal. You can set up how many steps you want it to reach each day. I've set mine up for 10,000 steps. And when you have a little check mark in it, that means you've reached or exceeded that goal. And so that's just a really simple way to, to look at that. If you compare that with other apps, including Apple Fitness, you have to sort of scroll and dig around to get this information. If, if steps are the only thing you want to count or one of these other pieces of information, then this is just a great screen. It presents it front and center. I think that's what I like so much about Activity Tracker. All right, down at the bottom, you also have three sections here. There's trends. And this page gives you uh, a sort of an overview of how you're doing for on a given day and how you're doing for a given week. So here you can see I'm sort of up for the day and kind of going down for the week. The one thing I struggle with on this app is that the time of the day is down at the bottom. I'm not even sure if you can see that, but it's on a black background and it's sort of a light gray and it's kind of hard to read for me, if that was a little bit brighter, it would be a little bit easier to see. Uh, but this gives you the today and the week view. And then as you scroll down, you can look at how you walked hour by hour during the day. Then you can take a look at the steps you've done by days. Here's by hours, by days, and now we're down here by weeks, and then by months. And then finally, you get a yearly total down here. I don't know if you can read that. That's counting over 20 million steps um, that I've walked in the last couple of years. And some of these cards, which is what they're called, uh, you can tap on and get more information. So if you want to look at the days, you can tap on that. And now you get detailed step information. And you can scroll through weeks and months just like that. And then you can tap the back arrow and you're back to here. And again, the beauty of this little activity tracker app is that it's just simple to take a look at and get the information off of. If you want to just look in here, 
and see the ups and downs for the days for the specific week, then it's just easy to do. There's a lot more information that you can get in here and that you can drill down into that I'm not going to cover today. I'm just wanting to give you a nice little overview of how this app works. Now you can go back to the front and you're back at the today um, screen, which shows you where you are. Uh, and now there's another section over here called profile and you can tap on that and here you can set things up. For example, you can set your steps at 10,000 a day, which would be 70,000 steps a week. You can add to that, you can subtract from that, you can set your metric, up, your main metric that requires a pro subscription and we'll talk about that in just a minute. You can set the colors, you can set the units, how they're measured, either metric or imperial. Um, you can set up your widgets and animation. So this is basically just a settings section right here. This is the main one though, sync, watch, and health. That's a pro feature, and I've set that up on my Apple Watch here, and you can see how Activity Tracker shows me my, my steps right there for the days, and that matches up with what's on my iPhone, and that's a really handy little thing to have. They've also included a tutorial that you can tap on, and it'll just show you what each of these sections mean, which is really handy. A lot of apps don't have a tutorial in them, and you know, I like to keep things simple and just being able to quickly read something like that. And it's not a long tutorial. It just explains what's on the page. So one other thing I want to talk to you about is the iPhone widget. If you use widgets on your iPhone, and I do, you can set this up so that the widget is on the front. You don't even have to open the app. It gives you the amount of steps you have for today. And I just think that's so handy. I don't have to look at anything. If you notice, I've got the Apple Fitness app over here, and it doesn't give me the steps, it just gives me my calories burned and the minutes that I've exercised. This gives me the steps, and that is just a really cool little feature. I love that widget, and it's worth keeping on your iPhone somewhere, and that way you don't even have to open the app. But if you do want to open the app, of course you can tap on it, tap on the widget, and you're back into the app. So that's just another little feature that I think is worth mentioning. One other thing that I want to mention is that if you have an iPhone 14 that's got the lock screen on it, if you tap on it, there's actually a lock screen widget here and you can see that, that it gives the number of steps. So if you pick up your phone, you can see exactly what that is. And without even having to open anything, you can just glance at your phone. So here's the deal. You can download this app from the App Store and there's a free version and you can give it a try. But there's also a paid version, and that's about $15 a year. It's not real expensive if this is something that's important to you. But I want you to know that there is a cost to it if you use the Pro Plan. And some of the features that I've shown you here are the Pro Plan. Again, I'm not going into great depth on this uh, application because there's a lot to it. I just want to introduce you to it and get you thinking about it so that you might be willing to take a look at it and see if it's a fit for you. But that's the cost on it. The next thing you need to know is about their privacy policy because they are collecting uh, data on you. And their privacy policy says that any, any data they collect from you, they do not share with any third party company at all, ever. And so I think that's a good policy to have. Now, like a lot of companies, um, you know, you log in and you create an account with them and they can use your account and match it with Facebook information and things like that. But the information they collect from you, they don't share with anyone. And I think that's the case with a lot of uh, reputable apps these days. I've only scratched the surface of this little app. There's a wealth of information it collects and then presents to you in an easy to figure out fashion. And it has a beautiful widget for the iPhone and a beautiful complication for the Apple Watch. But for me, I think what I like best about Activity Tracker is just the simple interface on the iPhone. I equally like the iPhone widget. It tells me exactly what I need to know at a glance. If you're trying to maintain and track a healthy lifestyle, then this little app is certainly worth a look. All right, that's a wrap for today. I hope you found this short review helpful. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.